Welcome to another tutorial by Tech and Web Guy. Today we're going to look at, for servers, Shadow Copy. Shadow Copy is specific to a hard drive on a server and allows you to make periodic backups that are accessible to the end user. As an example, I'm browsing to this server from my workstation. And when looking at a share, and right mouse clicking and going to properties, selecting previous versions, I have no previous versions. You may see this from time to time and it shows that there's no uh, available data. This is because it hasn't been set up on the server. So we're going to look at the server. We'll right mouse click on the hard drive that we want to add it to and go to properties and select shadow copies. I run shadow copy on every server that I use and I have it on every drive. If it's a server that has multiple drives, I put it on each one. It's better to, I feel, to have it enabled than not enabled. It does take up a specific amount of space on the server, which we'll look at here in a minute. When we click on the settings, it shows us how much space it's going to use. You can set the size to no limit, but it says you're at least going to need 300 megs of space. So we can also set a schedule. The schedule that's set by default is my one and two here. My Monday through Friday at 7 a.m. and my Monday through Friday at 12 p.m. You can set multiple days if you wanted to add a new day that only happened on a weekly basis. And for example, happened on Saturday and Sunday at 9 a.m. This would add two more days in the schedule and do backups only on Saturday and Sunday as well. Now that we've set our schedule, we're going to click OK, and now it shows us the schedule for it. Now that we've set the schedule and clicked OK, you'll notice that it's enabled it. It's going to create, based on this schedule, and my next time will be at noon, it'll create a shadow copy. We can create a shadow copy by hand by clicking the Create Now. It takes a moment and it creates a shadow copy. Now we can go back to our workstation to see what this looks like. Back here at my server, I'll right mouse click and go to properties and go to that previous versions. Now I'll see that today we had one called keys. I have three options. I can open it to view the contents. From here I can copy things out. I can copy it if I know I want to copy it all to my desktop or to some other network location. Or I can restore it. Restoring copies over the original on the server. I only recommend doing this if you're 100% sure that you're restoring to the correct date. Depending on the amount of space that you allocate depends on how long the backups will go. When it starts to get low on space, it will automatically delete older information while keeping the newer information. I've noticed with the default settings that I, some, I get somewhere between two months to three months out of my shadow copies. So I do this on every server. If a user has edited a file one day and then deleted it the next, they can always go back and restore it. For example, we'll delete this test folder out of here. Yes. We'll go to previous versions. Show the one from today. We'll open it. Say, There's the test folder. I can drag test folder into my other folder. I can copy it to another location to copy it over, or I can click restore and I'll restore it now. It has been successfully restored and there it added the one file that had changed back. It will only add the files that have changed. So this has been another tutorial by Tech and Web Guy. 